Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mech Tactical. This is going to be a short, quick tips version of Mech Tactical where I cover a couple of things involving targeting and information gathering and how your use of this info can drastically increase your effectiveness on the battlefield. Okay guys, through your ex excellent use of situational awareness, you have positioned yourself on a hill overlooking two enemy combatants. So the two quick tips that I wanted to give you right here real quick is let's say that your team is fighting down in this canyon with these two mechs and somebody is yelling for fire support on a specific mech but you're not sure. He, he doesn't yell Centurion or he doesn't yell Jenner. He doesn't, he doesn't give you any information but he does yell the targeting information Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo. He, he yells out one of those. So you, or what are you going to do? You're going to, you're going to look over here and target this guy. Oh no, he's the wrong guy. And you're going to look over here and you're going to target this guy. And you're gonna, oh no, that's not the wrong guy. And you're going to look around and target each of all, all these different mechs. Well, that's the slow way of doing that. What you want to do is remember the unbound key, which is Q on your keyboard, and which I have mapped to my throttle joystick. So. In a normal game, instead of testing grounds, which is what this is, you could just hold that key Q and it will give you targeting information about those two mechs. Now the Centurion shows 99 meters and the Jenner shows 106 meters. That's the only information it gives you because I am the only mech in this game right now. But if it was a real live game and your friend had yelled at a target of an enemy and he had already targeted that guy, well, target. it would have told you Alpha and then of course the rest of your sensors will give you the rest of the information, right? So, New target acquired. now if you look away and untarget anything and you look back and you see these guys, are you going to target them? No, you're just going to hold unbound and you can immediately, immediately see that the guy on the left is Bravo and the guy on the right is Alpha and if your teammate yelled Bravo you would know it's immediately the guy on the left you go to guns on the guy on the left so that's the first quick tip use your unbound key to quickly identify the designator for each of the enemy combatants so that when your teammate either in chat or if you're on TeamSpeak or some other um, voice software you can go directly to the target that he's requesting fire support on Remember, Q, the unbound key. You can uh, rebind this key to something else if you like. Like I said, I have it on my throttle joystick. Very handy. Also, can uh, whenever you hold this button, it will show you the names of all your friendly mechs. So you can quickly find a friendly mech, and he's saying, hey, come with me. And you're like, well, where are you? Well, f forget all that. Press and hold Q, and you'll see his name. The second quick tip that I wanted to show you has to do with targeting. Okay guys, later in the battle you're charging the canyon and you run into this centurion. You see him but he's not targeted. Where do you shoot? This is probably the most common mistake that new players and uh, some of the less experienced players make all the time and sometimes even in the heat of battle experienced players will make a mistake. They'll immediately want to shoot this guy. Well obviously that can't hurt you but your first volley of weapons needs to go somewhere important because after you fire them you're gonna have a recycle time on your weapons and in between that recycle time and firing again it's possible that your enemy could have targeted you found your weak spot and puts all his weapons to bear on your weak spot and takes you out whereas if you had targeted to begin with you could shoot him in his weak point and either crippled or destroyed him outright before he even gets to fire again after your weapons are recycling. So right here looking at this guy, first thing I want you to notice is where to shoot. Well, you have no clue where to shoot because, hey, he's not targeted. You don't know. Where am I going to shoot? You do have one tiny indicator that you may notice here uh, facing him, his right arm, uh, his left side from facing him. You can see smoke coming out of that left side so either his arm or his torso is damaged you can just tell that right here without targeting him at all but if you take and bring all your weapons to bear immediately on his chest without targeting well look there he's got full armor on the front you're not going to take him out neither you're going to take him out on the torso however his arm is weak you could take that out right away oh and then look there 
no more AC-10, one of his primary weapons. So now you have more than evened the battle in your favor. Just by targeting, you knew where to fire. If you had been in position up on the hill where we were earlier, and you had targeted and you had seen that information, you wouldn't want to necessarily immediately fire. You can drop down behind him because you see on the paper doll that his rear CT is wide open. He doesn't know you're here. Don't shoot from up there on the hill. He's gonna, you're gonna alert him to your presence then. And then you're gonna get into a battle where he's gonna react to you. And you're not gonna, he's gonna either torso twist or, you know, bring his best weapons to bear. He's gonna react to whatever you do from up on the hill. But if you had targeted him before you fired from the hill and you see that his rear CT is open, and then you maneuvered down the side of the hill, you came down around the buildings or jumped over the buildings or something, positioned yourself, got right behind him, he doesn't know it, he's dead in one alpha because you did not fire from up here. Instead, you targeted from on the hill, saw that his weird rear CT was weakest, hopped down, positioned yourself for best effectiveness and fired and took him out and got the kill. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and uh, the two quick tips there that I gave you, the unbound key um, plus targeting. Please, please target. It's the most important thing that you could do before you fire your weapons. You're just wasting a volley possibly when if you had targeted and took half a second longer to a second longer you would have seen, man, if I had shot that AC-40 Jaeger in the left torso instead of in the CT, he would be dead because he's running an XL. Or maybe his legs. If you had shot him in the legs, he keeps all his ammo in the legs, you could have created a chain reaction with ammo explosion. Target, guys. Target. It's the key to victory. Please subscribe, like, and share if you uh, enjoyed this uh, quick tip video, and we'll see you next time, guys, on Tactical.